I don't know where Ethan was. I personally told him to be there and receive the shipment. All right, well, extend my apologies to Senor Trujillo, please, and tell him I will more than make up for it. Hey. Hey, mate. You, uh, you got an ice pack I could borrow? Getting off duty. Take me with you. I'm white. Yeah, but I'm coming back for another shift. Split shifts. I do not know how you do it. I mean, I don't even have kids, and I would be a basket case. Oh, well, I've gotten used to it. Can I have a word with my sister? Yeah. Get some sleep. Maya's right. I saw the rotation. Morning and evening shifts. Look like you got hit by a truck. Yeah, feels more like 10. Thanks. What the hell happened? Oh, so these guys do this to you? No, no, there were these, these high rollers. They wanted high stakes. I wasn't very discerning about their characters, so I opened up the back room at the star. I'm not following you, you're a smart gambler. No, yeah, well, no, this time, <laughs> I wanted easy cash, so I got in over my head. So you gambled with money you didn't have? <clears throat> Stupid. <laughs> Well, I realized that about the time I was face down on the floor covered in fresh boot prints. I give you good money to work for me. Why this sudden need for cash? It's this bet with Edward. You know, Maya and I stay married for a year. We get a million bucks. You know, it seemed like a no-brainer. All we gotta do is stay together and we get a payout. Okay, so what's going on? You and Maya not getting along? No, no, it's the, it's the opposite. We, uh, she's amazing, you know. It's a good deal. I'm not seeing the problem, Ethan. I, I don't trust myself in relationships. All right, a year's gonna go by, it's gonna get better and better, and I'm gonna have to break Maya's heart. Yeah, she deserves better than that. And I thought if I could get the money, she wouldn't have to go through with the bargain. Okay, so let me get this straight. You care for Maya deeply, so you're going to give her money to break up with you. <laughs> okay, so I will repair C2 and C3 for debris while you're working on the head, and it'll be... Obviously, close quarters, but we've done that before. Shouldn't take more than an hour. Uh, the only time I have available tomorrow, my schedule's end of day. Does that work for you? Should be fine. Maybe we can grab something to eat if we're hungry afterwards, or... Hey, gorgeous. Excuse me. I had a great time at the Napa Grill the other night. We gotta mm. do it again sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Olivia's regained consciousness. She's doing well. Glad to hear it. Dante's in where they're now, so if you're here to see her, it's yeah, probably me. Look, I, I wish Olivia well, and I'm very grateful to Dr. Drake for saving her life, but uh, the only person I have plans with today would be you. <laughs> you're gonna have lunch with me, and I am not gonna take no for an oh, answer. Oh, you know, actually, Patrick and I, we have a patient that we need to examine, so. You know what, I can uh, go over it myself. I'll just leave you the notes when I'm done. Great. We're on. Let's go. Uh, Johnny, hey. Have you heard from Ethan? I, I left a message, called him last night, haven't heard from him. No, I haven't heard anything from him, but uh, in the event that I do, I, I'll have to call you. Okay. Come along. What is that all about? I don't know. Something tells me it's not good for Robin. me here for this? Hey, this? Uh, miss can hear you. Ethan got the crap beat out of him by several guys. She lost consciousness at least once. I'd say that qualifies well, as serious. if you'd warned me what I was in for, I could have smuggled a portable x-ray. If I had warned you, you wouldn't have come. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. You're such a baby. It's damn right I am, especially when you punch something that's broken. That's not even broken. As opposed to all the others? Okay, you know what? There's not much else I can do without the right equipment. Fine. Get out of here, then. You're a psycho anyway. You'd probably make me worse just for fun. Okay, I'm done. I like how you are. Have you even listened to him? He doesn't even want me to treat him. This is a waste of my time. You're just bitter because I dragged away from Patrick. <sighs> really? Hey, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hey, both of you, shut up and cooperate, all right? I still got the syringe that you were going to use on Robin, so fix Ethan up or your career is trashed. And you, suck it up. If you refuse help, you end up in the hospital. Maya sees you got beat to a pulp. She's gonna wanna know why. 
Okay, so you want to put hydrogen peroxide on the wound twice a day, and don't put your greasy fingers all over it. My insides hurt like hell. You probably cracked a few ribs, but there's nothing I can do about that. So you should come up with a plausible cover story, because he's going to be black and blue for quite some time. Uh, do try to contain your grief. Well, whatever you did to get beaten up, I'm sure it was stupid. Johnny, can you curb stomp her for me? All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'll expect you to check up on Ethan once daily for the remainder of the week. I'm sorry, so I tend to you, and now you expect me to just wet nurse this idiot? How am I supposed to cover up my job? You won't have a job if I turn in the syringe. Fine. So if I nurse him back to health, can you give me the syringe back? I'll think about it. If anybody finds out you got beat up playing poker, cops will be on it. Yeah, well, I'm more concerned about Maya. Yeah, I mean, I could tell her I took a fall snowboarding. Hey, you think she'll buy that? Probably not. She knows I hate the snow. Hey, back to the drawing board. You know, I could tell her it was your fault. Deal gone wrong with the Trujillo or something like that. Wow, or here's a novel concept, and I know it may be far-fetched coming from me, but how about the truth, huh? Why not tell her that you don't want her taking money from Edward so you thought you'd make some for her? I don't want Maya to know. You don't want Maya to know you lost a playing card, huh? <laughs> it would ruin my reputation. Also, it would risk Maya thinking I did a noble deed, all right? I need her to... Need to be her idea to break up with me. Uh-huh. Wow. You know what? This is so messed up. How about I just save you the trouble and tell Maya for you? No, Johnny, swear you won't tell her. Oh, overreact much. Look, I'm serious, Johnny. Look, I don't I don't want to hurt Maya, okay? She's she's a great girl and she deserves someone just as great. You know, there's someone who's gonna fall for her and and commit in the whole nine yards. I think you got the falling part covered. I wouldn't go that far. No. Ethan, you've made your feelings for Maya abundantly clear. You think maybe it's time to, I don't know, man up and own him? Tell her, huh? Johnny! Johnny, are you there? Time to man up? No, 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 no. Hey, it's me, Maya. Johnny! Maya, what's up? I'm really worried about Ethan. I still haven't heard from him, have you? 